taken off the table immediately. Uh, bringing in beef of a lower grade from countries with lower standards of production. <clears throat> Environmental and uh, safety and traceability standards is not acceptable to people like us who have been forced to produce beef at the highest level. And we, we continue to do that and will continue to do that. But to do that, we do not need low grade products being brought in from other countries to undermine the product here. Our farmers do not deserve it. European farmers do not deserve this. European and Irish consumers do not deserve this. We're protesting against uh, concessions that have been offered to um, facilitate Mercosur and TTIP trade agreements. And uh, we believe these should not be on the table. Beef should not be on the table. It shouldn't be non-negotiable. Uh, we compliment our, the French uh, Prime Minister François Hollande's position on this and we believe the politicians here should take a similar stance and be very adamant that, that it is not negotiable that beef is on the table. We're here to highlight um, the way uh, European agriculture, in particular beef, is being sold out uh, so that we say the industrial countries can sell their Mercs and their BMWs and whatever else to South America and to America. And what about the 78,000 tonne beef quota, Edmund? Is that particularly worrying for beef farmers? It is, yeah. I mean, that's only what they're talking about for South America. And there's something similar then for, for the United States. And there's also 50,000 tonnes in Canada. That yeah. equates to probably three quarters of a million cattle, which would be you know, close enough to what Ireland exports, yeah. which is actually huge. So it, it has the potential to destroy uh, the Irish beef trade. What's really getting to me is that we, we're the last 30 years jumping through hoops for hormones and antibiotics and all these regulations and t -t 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 testing. They bring in all these, this beef with no regulation and no worry about health and safety because it's so some for big, big, big business. I mean, we're 30 years jumping through hoops in the idea of food security and food safety, yeah. but big business cracks the way it doesn't really matter. As it is, it's subsistence farming, and it will be beyond that. It will be just pure hobby farming, and farmers will have to leave the land. They will just be here in the city looking for jobs. We won't be up protesting the next time. We'll be here looking for jobs in the city.